Hello, and welcome to my channel. My name is Jonathan Cohn, and today I have my book review of the book, The Icarus Job by Timothy Zahn. This is a brand new release in his Icarus Saga from Bane Books. This is the third book in the uh, series, uh, uh, but it's the third book published by Bane in the series. And for just to do a quick catch up on the series, back in uh, the late 90s, I think it was 1998, he published the novel The Icarus Hunt, one of his uh, best selling novels outside of Star Wars. It was a USA Today bestseller. It was a pretty popular book for him. And uh, it was known for its puzzle box mystery stuff, and it was pretty entertaining. And for years, Zahn had been trying to figure out what he would do next with the series. And so, he finally figured out what he would do next, and he switched publishers over to Bane, and so he's focusing on different characters, um, but the characters from the original novel still pop in and stuff. But you have the, the first book in the series came out about two years ago, titled The Icarus Plot, and then you had the book uh, that came out at the end of last year, titled The Icarus Twin, uh, and then the book that just came out uh, this week is The Icarus Job. This is the um, uh, uh, the third book by from Bain, and they are actually pretty consistent cover design and uh, spine design and cover design. The covers have been by Dave Seeley, and let me just say, these covers are gorgeous. This cover in particular is my favorite of the three we've gotten so far. It's just, I love this cover so much. Um, I think Dave Seeley is quickly becoming my favorite current cover artist um, that's out there, although there are other good ones for certain. But um, uh, anyway, uh, this is the third book in the Icarus series. It basically follows these two characters, uh, Gregory Rourke and Celine, who are uh, basically, they used to be trailblazers and bounty hunters, and now they work for the Icarus group. This is a, sec a, a secret government group that is, that is uh, worked specifically on um, uh, trying to find portals, the Icarus portals. And they're trying to find these portals because uh, they allow them to travel throughout the galaxy, they allow them to make travel faster, and they also uh, are fighting against this group called the Path, or the Path Nwith. I don't know how to pronounce the full name. The short name is The Path. And they're trying to fight against The Path. And then also there's a couple of kind of mercenary businessmen who they have to go up against. So it's like three different groups trying to get these portals. And uh, uh, Rourke and Celine are tasked with going around and finding the portals. Celine is a Cadolian, and her species allows her to smell um, uh, things and to determine things based off their smell. It's a really strong, powerful smell. And then Rourke uh, is just, he has the ship, uh, the Ruth, uh, and then he also is known for uh, uh, just being really good at getting them out of tricky situations. And he's a good wheeler dealer. And he's also good at uh, uncovering mysteries. And so this book, uh, the reason it's called The Icarus Job is they are hired by the mercenary guys outside of the Icarus group, the mercenary guys, to basically ferry around an assassin named Piper. And I believe that's Piper on the co cover here. And Piper... They're ordered to uh, ferry her around to what they believe is going to be her going and assassinating a bunch of people. But what it turns out is she's actually uh, on the run because there are people who want to murder her. And so it kind of the assassin becomes the assassinated and they try to protect her type thing. And uh, the story just goes off the rails. And at the same time, they're also trying to either save a portal that they know where it is and also uncover another portal. So it's still got the portal game going on here. And this book, I feel like, is the least... Um, uh, it feels the least tense of the three books. The first book had a really epic finale of action of when they figured out what was going on at the end of the book. There was just... It, the last 70 pages was just epicness throughout. And then you had uh, the book The Icarus Twin, where the last, I'd say, 50 to 70 pages was just so twisty, it just messed with my mind as I was reading it. Like, the, the twists and turns in this book are um, completely crazy and ridiculous. However, in this book, it's I describe this one as much more of a thriller. It still feels like the other books in tone, and the characters are the same types of characters, and the, the basic story plot. But this one, it's more of the, the thriller aspect of protecting her, saving, uh, protecting Piper, saving Piper, going through these different things. And the action at the end feels less, it feels smaller than the Icarus plot, and less convoluted 
than uh, the Icarus Twin. It feels much more straightforward. And in, in that aspect, I actually enjoyed it more because I didn't have to really think about it too much. I just, it was just a fun action. Uh, the, the problem with the Icarus Twin is it was so much twistiness that I had to read each chapter so slowly and carefully to understand what twi the twist was happening. Here, when the twists would happen, I was like, oh, that makes total sense. Like this one, I think that you could easily figure out the ending of this book. I didn't call it like say, oh, like this person is this and this thing is this. I didn't call it quite as obviously as that, but I was able to determine, hey, this piece of information is going to come back later. This piece of information is going to come back later. I was able to do that throughout the book. And so I think that this is the easiest mystery to solve um, and is the least puzzle boxy of the books. My number one complaint, though, of the whole tr Icarus series, the Icarus saga, as, as it's called, is that um, uh, while Celine and Rourke have this obvious chemistry, this obvious connection, and this obvious dynamic that should be a, a personal relationship, they still are viewed as just work partners, and it's so obvious that they should be romantic partners. And um, uh, Zahn doesn't always write romance well, and, he, and, and really most of his books, uh, the romance is never the, the central part. Even when he did romance in Star Wars between Luke and Mara Jade, it was super tame. And so it's not a, too, too much of a surprise that the romance isn't there, but I wish that he would establish it. I wish that he would use it, because I think it would be really great to read. However, it does look like we are going to get some character development in the next book that comes out in July, The Icarus Changeling, because at the end of this book, something about Selene is teased, and, and we'll obviously read about that in the next book. So I'm interested to see uh, if that character development happens. But this is not a character-focused series. This is a plot and um, uh, mystery fun thriller uh, series. If that's what you're looking for, that's what you're going to get. You're going to enjoy it. I still think this is actually pretty consistent and enjoyment levels. It's very much in line with the other books. So I gave the other two books seven out of tens each. Like, they're entertaining books. I had a lot of fun with them. They're not favorites, though, and I feel the exact same way here. It's an entertaining book. It's not a favorite. Um, uh... Uh, and even Icarus Hunt, the original novel, I'd still put it in the same category of about a 7 out of 10-ish. So it's remarkable that he is so consistent in writing 7 out of 10 quality books, even though um, uh, even though there's like four in the series now. So we have the Icarus Changeling, which comes out in July. We have the Icarus Needle that comes out in December. And then sometime after that, we don't know when, sometime after that we have uh, the finale, which is Icarus Legacy. Um, and I'm excited to read all of those when they come out. Uh, special thanks to Bane Books, who did send me an advanced copy. This was part of uh, uh, the advanced copies that they sent me in the month of March. Um, so thank you, Bane, for sending me this. And if you've read The Icarus Saga, specifically if you get around to this book, what did you think? What did you think of the other books? Do you agree with me on my criticisms of the others? Um, and did you enjoy reading this? Let me know in the comments section down below. And until next time, I'm Jonathan, and thank you for watching.